Welcome back, and today we dive headfirst into the thrilling world of the construction sector. Buckle up as we investigate its recent recovery. In the last few months, this once beleaguered industry has been showing promising signs of resurgence. The pulse of the sector, the SEP's PMI, has been ticking upwards, edging closer to the critical 50 mark. This recovery is being led by a steady comeback in house building activity, a sector that had been on a downward spiral for some time. The winds of change are also blowing in the financial world. Improved financial conditions are raising the spirits of investors and businesses alike. And if that wasn't enough, there's a whisper of falling interest rates in the air, adding to the growing optimism. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Employment in construction has seen a dip and firms are grappling with increased cost pressures. But the current performance of the sector is the best it's been since August 2023, pointing towards a potential upswing in business in the coming months. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these factors that are fueling the construction sector's comeback. First off, we explore the pivotal role of house building in the construction sector's recovery. As we delve into the heart of the matter, we find that house building activity has experienced a slower decline, which has effectively fueled the resurgence of the entire construction sector. Now you may wonder, why is this significant? Well, the slower decline in house building activity signals a stronger demand for new homes. This demand creates a ripple effect that benefits the broader construction industry and by extension, the overall economy. The more houses we build, the more jobs we create, the more materials we purchase, and the more services we engage. But what has led to this slower decline in house building activity? A few potential factors come to mind. The first is improved financial conditions. As economies recover from downturns, consumers often find themselves in a better financial position to invest in new homes. The second factor could be the anticipation of lower interest rates. Lower interest rates make borrowing more affordable, which can spur home buyers to act. This in turn stimulates house building activity as developers respond to increasing demand. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. The construction sector still faces challenges. Employment in the industry has fallen for the second consecutive month and firms are grappling with increased cost pressures. These hurdles remind us that recovery is a complex process requiring a delicate balance of various factors, yet Despite these challenges, there's a sense of optimism in the air. The sector's performance in February of 2024 was the best since August of the previous year. This progress, coupled with the slower decline in house building, hints at potential business improvement in the coming months. It's clear that house building is a key player in this revival, but it's not the only factor at play. Let's uncover the others. Next, we delve into the world of finance where improved conditions and the prospect of falling interest rates are driving a wave of optimism. It's a fascinating tale of how the ebb and flow of finance can shape entire industries. So let's unpack it. Financial conditions in an economy you see act as the lifeblood of businesses. When conditions are favorable with ample liquidity and manageable debt levels, businesses can thrive. And that's exactly what has been happening in our story of the construction sector's resurgence. Improved financial conditions have meant more investment, more projects, and yes, more optimism. In fact, the construction sector's performance in February 2024 was the best since August of the previous year. Now let's turn our attention to interest rates. They're the cost of borrowing money and they can dramatically impact businesses. When rates are high, it's more expensive to borrow, which can stifle growth. But when rates are low or expected to fall, it's like a green light for businesses to invest and expand. That's the situation we're seeing now. The expectation of falling interest rates has been a significant factor in the construction sector's recovery. Lower rates mean cheaper loans and more affordable mortgages. That leads to more house building and the cycle continues. These factors, improved financial conditions and falling interest rates, are not just influencing the present, they're shaping the future. They're fueling expectations of further growth and recovery in the construction sector. 
So, what's the takeaway? The world of finance is like the weather for businesses. It can be unpredictable, yes, but when the conditions are right, it can lead to a season of growth and prosperity. With these financial tailwinds, the construction sector is set to sail towards a brighter future. We've delved deep into the construction sector's recovery. Now let's recap the key points. The recent resurgence of the construction sector is driven by a slower decline in house building activity, painting a picture of optimism for the year 2024. This recovery didn't happen in isolation. Improved financial conditions and the expectation of falling interest rates have provided a significant boost. However, it's not all smooth sailing. The sector faced two significant challenges, a drop in employment for the second month running and increased cost pressures. Despite these hurdles, February 2024 marked the best performance since August 2023, indicating potential business improvement in the coming months. Remember, the construction sector's recovery isn't just about bricks and mortar, it's about the people, the economy and the future. So, stay informed, and stay ahead. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time.